Okay, so next we're going to do the Jepson-Taylor hand function test. And this test is done to measure gross motor coordination, prehension, and manipulation skills. And this is all done through functional tests. But it does not test bilateral integration. So, all tests are performed with the non-dominant hand first, followed by the dominant hand. So you should first identify which hand is the dominant hand. This test manual actually gives you first instructions of how to set it up and then instructions to give the client. So the first test is writing. So we'll give the client a ballpoint pen and a clipboard with four sheets of white paper attached. And then we have cards that have sentences on them and the client is supposed to copy them which we will give instructions. We will first start with the non-dominant hand. So you'll need to write with your left hand. Okay. So do you wear glasses for reading? No. Okay. So take this pen in your hand and arrange everything so that it is comfortable for you to write with your left hand. On the other, other side of this card is a sentence. When I turn this card over and say go, Write the sentence as quickly <coughs> and clearly as you can using your left hand. Write, do not print. Do you understand? Yes. So write in cursive? Yes. And you will time how fast they are able to complete this activity. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. and you would record the amount of time that it took for them to complete the task. And then you would say, all right, now repeat the same thing, only this time you will use your right hand, and I will give you a different sentence. And you would do the same thing and just say, are you ready, go. And you would turn over the card, and you would time how fast they're able to write the sentence with their right hand. Okay, for the next task, it is called simulated page turning, and you take five index cards and place them in a horizontal row two inches apart on the table in front of the subject. And you actually have this convenient board gives you measurements of two inches apart. Okay. Okay. So place your left hand on the table, please. When I say go, use your left hand to turn over these cards one at a time as quickly as you can beginning with this card. You may turn them over in any way you wish. You do not need to follow a neat pattern. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. So you just time how long it takes them and then you would say now repeat the same thing with the right hand beginning with this card. And you would say ready? Go. The next task is called lifting small common objects. And you place a one pound empty coffee can directly in front of the subject, five inches from the front edge of the table. You will place two one inch paper clips oriented vertically, two regular size bottle caps, a 
and two pennies. These will all be placed in a horizontal row to the non-dominant side of the hand. So this would be her left side. Okay. And the objects are spaced approximately two inches apart. Let's place your left hand on the table, please. When I say go, use your left hand to pick up these objects one at a time and place them in the can as fast as you can, beginning with this one. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Ready? Go. Okay. And for the dominant hand, you would set up the materials in the same way, except you would do it the opposite as you had before. Now repeat the same thing with your right hand, beginning here. Ready? Go. And with both of these trials, you would just time how fast it took the client to complete the activity. 